So the aging microbiome I showed you in our mice drives inflammation, but we also actually have data that inflammation drives the microbial dysbiosis. Once upon a time, in the early days of microbiome work, people thought, okay, we're gonna look at the microbiomes, let's say between young or old or diseased and healthy or whatever the case may be. And we're gonna find that one bad bug that's causing all this gut inflammation. We're gonna get rid of that bad bug. And maybe as an immunologist, I'd say, let's immunize against that bad bug. We're gonna fix the gut. We're gonna make it less leaky. And of course that hasn't really panned out. Now we're starting to see that the data actually is more supportive of it going in the other direction, that an inflamed gut drives a dysbiotic microbiome because inflammation is associated with changing redox potential, which makes some nutrients more available and some less. It also provides a certain degree of pressure from the immune system. So those microbes that are resistant to that can flourish while others will succumb. So it, that looks like this chronic inflammation or this age associated inflammation might actually drive the dysbiosis that we observe. And in the experiments we did, again, we were using our wild type and our TNF knockout mice that, were, uh, that grew up without this chronic inflammation. The blue dots are the young microbiota and the orange dots are the old microbiota. In the wild type mice, they're different. In the TNF knockout mice, they're not. We also did a series of other experiments showing that uh, this chronic inflammation did seem to drive a lot of that, those dysbiotic changes. 